My name's Denny Chabot, uh, better known as Denny Chabot. I've been here at Grace for, attending Grace for going on 30 years and had been working here for the last uh, 22 or 23 years on staff. 15 years of it has been in uh, facilities and the other rest of my time here has been working with the care team, doing pastoral care, visitations, phone calls, cards, so forth and so on. So when I first came in on facilities, there was a lot of open ends where it would all feed into not just doing facilities. And that really sparked uh, that curiosity in me. Uh, as soon as I would find out somebody was in the hospital, I was just drawn to go and to pray with them, to encourage them to, once again, I say, bring them Christ uh, and, 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 and let them know what Jesus can do. You never work a day in your life if you enjoy what you're doing. And as tough as it has been in the years past, I I enjoy doing what I do. And in the, one of the biggest things that I enjoyed doing when I was doing what I was doing was a chance to do communion with the people in the hospital, where I would take the elements with me and would ask them, would you care to do communion? I, You know, I, I have a, a lot of them. I know some verses I'm not good for memorization. But I, I always think the one that I, that I go to a lot is I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. That I can do all things through Christ who gives me strength. And there's a lot of other verses that, you know, of course there's always the John 3.16. And I love John 3.16 because I can always insert a name for God so loved Denny that he gave his one and only sin. So when I'm either giving the good news or um, telling somebody about Christ, I can insert their name in that verse and it seems to me to stick out quite a bit. So I'm gonna miss the fellowship and the love that is given and the love that is received. I'm gonna miss it. I'm gonna miss it. But I do believe that God will fill that hole with a new adventure, a new I knew is what he'll set me up with. Does anything does anything come to mind like that you would want to say to the church or just in general that you're yeah. like yeah. that you would want to just say to to Grace? I guess I would say that Jesus is alive. Jesus is real. It's not just a story. The gospel is the good news. That's what I would want to tell everybody here. If you don't learn anything else, if you don't hear anything else, the most important thing that you can hear is that we have been saved by grace through faith plus nothing. It's what Christ has done on the cross. He came for a reason, and that was to remove our sin that we could not remove ourselves. He saved a pack of sinners that could not save themselves. He came to earth, did what he had to do, he died on the cross, they put him in the ground, he rose him. He opened the gates of heaven for us. That's the good news. That's the ticket. That's what you have to hear. That's what you have to believe. And the rest, love God and love others. <laughs>